Oh boy. <clears throat> what is good? Good morning. Top of the morning, the fuckers. When is top of the morning? This is o'clock. Hmm. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Uh, I, I, well, let's talk. I don't want to talk about the election per se, but I just want to talk about people's attitude behind the election. I want to talk about that. I think it's to some degree ridiculous because uh, I think this shit is being taken. I'm not going to say it's being taken too serious. You could take people care a lot about some things, some things people don't care about. But when it turns into a situation where. <clears throat> You're fighting people. That's when it's like, all right, this is fucking crazy. Like you, why, why, why are people? All right, this one chick went on Instagram, and she got cornered by like a bunch of like pickup trucks with Trump flags on it and whatnot. And it said it's because she had a Black Lives Matter flag out of her car. So the only reason why they cornered her is because she had a Black Lives a BLM flag in her car. Now. I'm pretty sure she's not the only one that's ever did that. Uh, I don't know where she lives at. I'm pretty. I don't think that's L.A. Uh, but um, regardless of where it is, to that's the thing. These videos start after the fact, so there's situations that 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 ensue, and people jump to conclusions. They're like, "Oh, look, look at this shit. This is racist." And it's like, "Well, we don't know if it's racist or not. I don't know what the fuck happened." I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Let me see the whole video. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's no different than like you see in a fight and you got to walk over and ask somebody, like, hey, uh, man, hey, man, why you let, why is it, what's happening? What's going on over here? And somebody says one thing and it's like, oh, yeah, that must be true. Well, the both of them are fighting. So we don't even know how this shit started or they, a, a situation happens in a, I think in a mall that one time they said they put that video out. And they said that, I'm pretty sure some of y'all seen this video. When this dude was in a Macy's or, you know, shopping for polos, uh, button ups, whatever he was shopping for. And some white, he was like, he, pop, he punched this white guy in the face. And then everybody started saying that he just was angry and just decided to just punch this guy in the face. And I'm like, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I mean, how often does that happen? I've never been just chilling somewhere and then just seeing a random white, black dude just come to a, a, a the white guy and punch him in the face. And in my experience, black people, you rarely ever try to fuck with white people at all, just off the off just because of fear. Because you know they know if they mess with a white person, that you're going, you're done. But if they mess with if they if if we keep fighting against each other and shooting at each other, we we fine. You know what I'm saying? Like we could do that and get away with it, low kid. We have we've done it. Like it's happened where I where I live that has happened. You know what I'm saying? We would call the cops. The cops take about three hours to show up. You know, a nigga didn't clean the crime scene up already. Himself, he did it. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's not. I'm I'm used to that. But uh, I didn't believe that he just went and punched the guy. I don't. I didn't believe that. And um, it's not because he's black. It's just because I don't see people doing it. Like th that that knuckle game, and I think it was in Philly. That's a separate situation. Like those are dumbass kids going around doing dumbass shit. But nobody's going around just punching people. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't happen. So I don't know. I don't know what was said. I don't know what. Regardless of what was said, that don't mean you just you just haul up and hit them. But let's stick to the let's stick to the. I'm I'm going on a tangent. Uh, the whole situation with the election, it's like vote for who you gonna vote for, man. I don't care. I don't care who you vote for. I really don't. And then people are being becoming. Like they putting a line in the sand. And it's like if you vote for Trump, I'm not. I, I can't be friends with you anymore. Like I know for a fact I can't fuck with you if you vote for Trump. And it's like okay. I mean I get okay. What does that mean for a person that you've known your whole life? What was what does that mean? Like if you've known this person your whole life, and then they decide that they're going to vote for Trump, right? Does that mean they're racist now? They've known you. You black, and they're white. Or they're black or Hispanic. You cool with them. You've been cool with them your whole life. And all of a sudden, he want to mix some shit up. And it's like, yeah, check this out, boy. I'm voting for Trump, homie. 
I don't know you don't like it. I know you don't agree with it. I'm going to do it. And he's like, oh, I can't fuck with you. You, 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 you banned. You out. I'm mean, you off my Facebook. You out. Can't talk to you no more. It's like, he didn't change as a person. He just wants to vote for Trump. Like, he, he might actually still be a cool person. Like, I know people that want to vote for that, 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 that want to vote for Trump, but that have voted for Trump. And I don't know, I don't, I don't, like, I don't agree with some of the things that they say, but we talk about it. We have a conversation. I'm a goddamn adult. I'm going to sit and have a conversation with you. I'm not going to just be like, oh, you in the clan. You in the clan. He in the clan now. You in the clan. Sorry. Stamp. You got the, you got the clan stamp because you voted. For, I don't care. Just be a good person. Vote for who you're going to vote for, but be a good person. Then I want, I, nobody cares. Like, that should be the prime thing. Like, that, that should be, that's primary is being a good person. That's what we preach, isn't it? So just because of who you vote for, that makes you a bad person. Aside from the social media propaganda that's going around showing people doing all these r ridiculous things off the strength of a person's name that they're going to vote for. Ridiculous. That's them. That's like saying, if, that's, that's, it's no different than saying if, uh, all these videos going around on Warstar Hip Hop of black people doing some rat, ratchet wild shit. Am I a part of that? No, I don't do that. I tell jokes. You know what I'm saying? I have my own show. Like, I box for eight years. I don't do that kind of stuff. I, I, I stay within my bubble. I'm a hermit, baby. I'm a hermit. I get in that cave and I don't I, I don't bounce. I only on time I come home, it's time to go to work. That's it. But, uh, I don't, I'm not about to sit here and blanket a race or an ideal just because I seen other people doing it on, so, on social media. I'm not doing it. Do what you want to do. If you're good, you're good. If you're not, you're not. It's that simple with me. But all this other infighting and you, 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 you oh yeah, you didn't cross the line now. Like, that's dumb. We're still people. Just have a conversation. If, if somebody hits you up and say, hey, man, I'm voting for... Oh, you voted for Trump? Like, if somebody shared their vote and said they voted for Trump, just talk to them. Like, why? Why'd you... What, what, like, what, what... Maybe it's something I'm missing. Let me... Let me... Let's see why you voted for Trump. Let's, I want to know why. What do you think he's going to do? You know what I mean? Like, in four, for four more years. What do you think he's going to do? Just ask him. <laughs> like, you might be able to change his damn mind if you talk to him. But no, for, to get irate and become angry and then kick him off your Facebook or block him or whatever, what are you really doing? Nothing. You're doing nothing. It's that's, that's, that's doing shit with your emotions. Your emotions don't matter to courtroom. Facts matter. So if, if you could talk to a person like an adult, let's be adults here, stop letting our feelings t overtake us, then we're fine. As, as, as people, we'll be fine. But nobody can talk to nobody anymore without being angry. What are you mad? What are you so mad about? I don't get it. Let's ask the, let's ask the, the, the sheer, the like direct questions. Okay, who you voting for? This person, okay, okay. What are they going to do about the police? What are they going to do about this? What are they going to do? The, ask those questions. Do you think he's going to do that? If you don't think he's going to do that, why would you vote for him? Am I a vote for a person that's going to do something about the police? Am I doing that? Who are you voting for? <laughs> like, is he going to do something about the cops? Like, let's ask those questions. Be honest about it. But don't be angry. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing but just voting for a motherfucker. He ain't going around doing... He ain't shooting nobody. He ain't running people down in a Ford Bronco. He not doing none of that. He just voting for somebody because that's... In his brain, he made that choice. You know? He might want to go around and suck on asparagus. You know, sprinkle with some salt and some garlic. You, It's weird. But hey, you be healthy how you're going to be healthy, boy. Be healthy how you're going to be healthy. But I'm not about to say, oh, do you, you know, this thing, you suck on asparagus, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of suspect, bro. So, uh, I'm going to have to say no to our friendship. Can't be chilling with a boy, with a guy that's walking around sucking on asparagus. That's weird. Just, just cook it. Eat like the rest of us. So it's like, just, I mean, let's cut this shit out, man. Just talk to people. It's not hard to do. If you can conduct yourself at a CVS or in an interview when you're trying to get a job properly, why you can't do that shit to talk to another, another person or one of your friends? It's very simple. 